I am Katie from HeartsContentFarmhouse.com and today what I'm going to be making is oven dried strawberries. These strawberries aren't meant to be like a brittle dehydrator strawberry with long term storage. They're like a chewy, almost candy like gummy strawberry that kids really like. They do have white sugar added to them, but they're really delicious. I give them to my kids in their lunches and as a dessert. They're just a good alternative to like a store bought fruit snack or something, something like that, but they're not really a good substitute for fruit. They are a treat. So all you need for this recipe are strawberries. Um, these I did not grow, they are just from the grocery store. A little bit of lemon juice and white sugar fat. So it's really simple. First, we are just gonna chop these strawberries. If they're big, these are, you know, grocery store strawberries, so they're really big. So I'm gonna go ahead and do thirds or sometimes even quarters of these. Because we want them to be a bite-sized food. They're gonna shrink down in size, but not tremendously, because they are retaining a lot of moisture and staying juicy. We're gonna mix them up with sugar and then they're just gonna sit in the bowl for a while. So since I'm doing two pounds, that's gonna be four tablespoons of sugar. And it's a half teaspoon of lemon juice per pound of strawberries. So a teaspoon of lemon juice, since I'm using two pounds of strawberries. And then what I'm gonna do is stir this. Because I want all the juices in the strawberry to come out before I dry them. Something about um, doing them in the oven and having them dry in their own juices keeps them chewy and sticky and almost candy-like. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. And then this is gonna sit for 30 minutes while the strawberries get juicy. And then we're gonna come back and bake them at that low temperature in the oven. Okay, so our oven is preheated. Um, my oven only goes to 200, that's the lowest temperature I can set it for. If yours goes to 175 or something like that, that would be the ideal temperature. Any lower than that, it's actually going to take too long and you're not going to have a chewy, um, like yummy dried strawberry. You're going to have more of a, almost like a beef jerky texture and you don't want that. So I'm going to prepare my baking sheets. You can do parchment paper or if you have a um, silicone mat that people reuse for baking, that would work also. So two parchment lined sheets. You don't want them to touch. You want to give them room to dry out. So I'm going to do half on each. And you want to make sure that some of the juices get on each sheet. It's going to look um, like you don't have very many on there, but it's important that they aren't touch because if they are, it's going to take too long for them to dry out and you're going to have some that are crisp before the others become chewy. And what I'm going to do is put these in the oven and I'm going to set it for two and a half hours. Most of the time it takes mine at least three hours. This depends mostly on the size that you've cut your berries to.